Um, as I was saying, I'd like to thank everyone here for letting me be able to stand here and that um, I also bless the Lord for trying to be able to come here. So yeah, okay, what is faith? Faith is being sure of what we hope for, even if we do not see it. We should still believe in it. We might not see it, but we should still believe in it because we know that God is going to provide for us and he's always going to be there for us. With faith, we can we can get prayers answered and we can even move mountains. So, Speak, um, my message for you today is for you to understand the different concepts of light and darkness and how it can affect your life in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, first things first, until the return of Jesus, the power struggle between light and dark is never ending. This is, um, we should all know this by now, really, I mean, as Christians, we each carry, we each um, strive to do uh, things for uh, the good of God, but we also continue, we will also struggle and fall to darkness, otherwise known as sin. Mm. <laughs> so, um, please open your Bibles and turn to John, just John, verse, I mean, chapter 8, verse 12. John, chapter 8, verse 12. I get an amen. 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 Uh, what this says is, Then Jesus again spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of but will have the light of life. I'll repeat this again for those who didn't hear. Uh, then Jesus again spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Amen. He who follows me will not walk in the darkness, but will have the light of life. Amen. As children of God, it is our top priority to stay and follow the light of Jesus. Amen. You cannot call yourself a child of God and walk in the darkness. This is called being an undercover Christian. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh -oh. It is blasphemy and can lead to eternal damnation unless you choose to repent and replace yourself in God's light. <laughs> An example of this is you cannot claim to walk in the light of the Holy Spirit when you spend your entire Saturday night clubbing and then sleep and then consistently sleep through Sunday service. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Not only are you lying to God, you are dishonoring the church. Amen. Amen. We should already know this by now. Uh, now please turn to John, just John, chapter 1, verse 5. Can I get an amen when someone is there? Uh, John chapter 1, verse 5 says, The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. I'll repeat this again for those who didn't hear. John chapter 1 verse 5 says, The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. What this means is that when we are at our lowest point, that is when God will finally reveal himself to us. Amen. The power of God shines brightest when we are in the darkest of situations. God likes it when we are the underdog. He wants us to be the underdog. When you have reached the very end of the road you are traveling, that is when God will give you the extra push to take that extra step, that extra mile further. Whatever situation you are lost in, just know that the power of the Holy Ghost is bigger than it. Amen. Holy Spirit, I thank you, Father. I have, I honor you and I reverence you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The glory of coffee is in hot water. Hey. Hey. Amen. 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 Say to your neighbor, the glory of coffee is in hot water. <laughs> just like our apostle does, just greet two or three people yeah. and uh, say that you are blessed and I pray that you be blessed in the same It's, it's like a foundation. Mm -hmm. When we see all the skyscrapers down downtown, we only see the pinnacle of the building. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. We don't we, we forget that there's a foundation that is holding the skyscraper, right? The foundation is for God 
pattern, it is not painted, it is not decorated, but it is the most important. Hallelujah. So the fire that you're going through, the pit experience that you're going through is the most important thing in your life because it will be able to hold your vision. It will be able to hold your business. It will be able to hold that money that God wants to give you. 